All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to calculate i to the i, not using calculus, but instead using linear algebra. And hopefully after this video, you'll be like, it's an i for an i. All right, so first of all, what is i in linear algebra? Well, notice i, it is ei pi over 2. But ei pi over 2, what this is, it is rotation by pi over 2. So if you have this complex number and multiply it by i, then that angle becomes pi over 2. You just rotate it by 90 degrees. Okay. Now the question is, how can you write rotation in terms of matrices well, remember, and there is a video on this, so rotation by an angle theta is just the matrix cosine theta, sine theta, and then you differentiate this minus sine of theta and cosine of theta. So in particular, rotation by 90 degrees, in other words, I, would just become cosine of pi over 2, minus sine of pi over 2, sine of pi over 2, and then cosine of pi over 2, which simply becomes uh, 0 minus 1, 1, 0. So really, to calculate i to an i, you just need to calculate this matrix to the power of the same matrix. And again, we'll, we'll see uh, how to do this. And well, in order to calculate any kind of functions of matrices, the first step to do is to calculate the eigenvalues. So let's try to calculate the eigenvalues of that matrix. So let's calculate a determinant of A minus lambda I, where this is the matrix, so this just becomes a determinant of minus lambda, minus 1, 1, and then minus lambda, which becomes lambda squared plus 1. You set it equal 0, and essentially you get lambda is plus or minus i. And then for eigenvectors, for lambda equals i, let's find a null space of a minus ii, ii, captain, and that becomes a null space of minus i, minus 1, 1, and minus i, and then just divide, so no space of, I think, uh, 1, and then minus 1 over mi minus i, so 1 over i, and then 1, and minus i, and then if you just multiply top and bottom by i, you actually get the same thing, so no space of 1 minus i, 1 minus i, and that is the null space of 1 minus i, 0, 0. And then just think which combination gives you 0. Well, one combination that works is i times 1 plus 1 times minus i, so span of i and 1. So for lambda equals i, I, you get basically i and 1, and the beautiful thing is for lambda equals minus i, you just do the conjugate. So it becomes minus 1i, well, minus i1. And therefore, our rotation matrix, so 0 minus 1, uh, 1, 0, that becomes uh, i1 minus i1, and then i, 0, 0, minus i, and the inverse, so i, 1, minus 1, sorry, minus i, 1, inverse, and I'll get those. Okay, so this gives us our matrix A. And now the next step is what we would like to do. So i to the i, I would like to remind you, is 0, minus 1, 1, 0, to the 0, minus 1, 1, 0. And the question is, how can you calculate a to the power of a? Well, it's the same thing as e of ln of a to the power of a, and that is e to the ln of a times a. 
or A times ln of A, though it's commute in this case. And so the first order of business kind of is to calculate ln of A. So ln of A that becomes, so for you know, those diagonal matrices, so for diagonalization, you just put ln on the uh, eigenvalues. So minus I minus I, 1, 1. And then ln of I, 0, 0 ln of minus i, and then you calculate the inverse of this, so I think the determinant is 1 over 2i, and then it becomes 1i uh, minus 1i. Another question is, what is ln of i? Well, notice i is ei pi over 2, so here I am cheating a little bit, but ln of i just becomes i pi over 2, at least the principal one. So i minus i, 1, 1, i pi over 2, and then 0, 0. And similarly for minus i, it becomes minus i pi over 2. And then you calculate this thing here, which becomes, let me see, uh, da, da. Okay, and it's still 1 over 2i. Because you'll see this one was actually quite useful. So 1i minus 1i. And then essentially all you do, notice this 1 over 2i, you can just divide the eigenvalues by this. So what this becomes, it's i minus i, 1, 1, and then just pi over 4, 0, 0, minus pi over 4. 1i minus 1i. Yes, it does become a little bit more complicated than the calculus way, but I do think it's very insightful. So we get i minus i, 1, 1, and then you calculate that, so you multiply this by pi over 4, so pi over 4, pi over 4i, and then uh, pi over 4 minus pi over 4i. And I know some people will complain, hey, this is a very slow way of doing this. But you have to understand, not everything in math is about speed. Sometimes, actually very often in math research is about insight. All right. And then you have this, and then uh, you calculate that. So what this becomes, so um, pi over 4 times i minus pi over 4 times i, which becomes 0. And then... This becomes minus pi over 4, and then plus, but then with minus, so minus pi over 4, and then what we get is, so um, pi over 4 plus pi over 4, so pi over 2, and then pi over 4i minus pi over 4i, which is uh, 0. And lastly, we get 0 minus pi over 2, pi over 2, and then 0. And that is our ln of our matrix. All right, so we calculate the ln of A. And now to calculate A to the A, which we wanted, remember it's E of ln of A times A. And then ln of A times A, what this becomes, 0 minus pi over 2, pi over 2, 0. And then our original matrix, which I believe was 0 minus 1, if I'm not mistaken, it's 0 minus 1, 1, 0, and let's calculate that. So 0 minus pi over 2, and then 0, I guess, yeah, and then 0, and then minus pi over 2. So that is ln of a to the a, and the nice thing is this is diagonal, so the e of ln of a to the a, it just becomes e to the minus pi over 2. 0, 0, e to the minus pi over 2. So what have we found? And now this is quite interesting. i to the i, that was again 0 minus 1, 1, 0, 0 minus 1, 1, 0, and that is e to the minus pi over 2, 0, 0, e to the minus pi over 2. But notice geometrically what this transformation does, it is scaling by e to the minus pi over 2. 
And this is precisely how to write real numbers in terms of matrices. So let's say the number 2 would be written as 2002. Because if you multiply a complex number by 2, you just scale it by 2. So if this is z, this is 2z. So this is the representation of the number 2. In particular, this matrix here, it's none other than the representation of e of minus pi over 2. So now, using linear algebra, we have officially shown that i to the i is e to the minus pi over 2. With, again, no calculus whatsoever, just linear algebra. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.